Welcome to each of you who is watching. This is the Namaste Center in Hendersonville, North Carolina, Sunday, November 11, 2012, and I'm the Reverend Ken Kinnett. I want to say something about this stove first. That is not an XP on I mean plus P on there. <laughs> it's a, two Greek letters, Cairo, which are the first uh, Greek letters in the in Christ. Uh, so good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This talk was advertised in our newsletter as Claim Your Power. And the better title is uh, Claim Your Personal Power Through Forgiveness. There are several ways to claim your power, but I'm concentrating on forgiveness as the way to claim your power for yourself. Forgiveness is my favorite subject after love. And first I want to tell you a story on myself so you can see that the only person who is hurt by not forgiving is the one who withholds forgiveness. After seminary, I had been an assistant at a church for two years in uh, affluent northwest Atlanta. And then in 1971, my bishop suggested I become the rector, which is Episcopalian for the head pastor or minister, of a small church in inner city Atlanta, Holy Comforter. I decided to accept the post, and after the service on my first Sunday as the parishioners were filing out, one of the older women said, uh, uh, I want you to know that Sister has resigned as organist after 40 years. I thought, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> One difficulty at Holy Comforter were the church records. They were so poorly kept that I couldn't figure out how to do the annual report. And the Episcopal Church is big on records, I guess, because there's so few of us. But uh, I really resented my predecessor for that. And I held on to that resentment for two years I was neither holy, nor comforter, nor forgiving. And my predecessor was at another church, still in the Diocese of Atlanta, which is the uh, northern half of Georgia from Columbus on up. And uh, so I decided after two years to let him know my feelings toward him at the annual clergy conference. So I took him aside and I said, Bill, that's not his real name, I want you to know that I've been uh, resenting, holding a grudge against you for two years because of the way the records were kept at the church. And, uh, but I've forgiven you and I ask you to forgive me. He looked startled and he said, huh? <laughs> 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 My grudge hadn't affected him at all. Huh? <laughs> it only affected me. <laughs> After hearing that story, I have a question for you. What would any one of you say are the benefits of forgiveness? Just uh, call them out. Peace. Pardon? Peace. Freedom. Freedom. Good for you. Peace. Relief. Peace. Relief. What else? Peace. 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 Love. I don't have a hearing problem. So <laughs> Serenity. Love. Serenity. Serenity. Contentment. Huh? Contentment. 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 Yeah. Okay. Good. And love. Love. Freedom. Okay. okay. Acceptance. Accepting. Relief. Relief. Okay, I've got freedom, relief, serenity, contentment, love, accepting, and uh, it was that, were there others that were called out that I didn't quite hear? What? Good health. Good health. Yeah. Good, yeah, okay. Well, uh, those are good. Freedom, relief, serenity, contentment, love, accepting, and good health. Uh, incidentally, uh, I, I want to read you uh, some of the uh, benefits that have been given in the course for relationship skills that Lord and I have been teaching for 16 years. Some of them are the same as yours. Freedom, soft energy, even flow of energy, easiness in my body, creativity, wholeness, clarity of thoughts and action, and feeling the Holy Spirit's presence. So, uh, another question. What do you, what would you say is the meaning of forgiveness? Anyone? Letting go. Hmm? Letting go. Letting go. Okay. Anything else? Opening your heart. Opening your heart. Okay. Releasing emotion. Do what? Releasing 
Emotion. Releasing the burden. Emotion. Emotion. I'm sorry. Releasing motion. Motion. Emotion. Emotion. Okay. I'm going to get some new hearing aids at the VA in a couple of months. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I told the audiologist that I saw Saturday, I said, boy, my wife's really going to be glad for this. She said, a lot of people. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> some of the, incidentally, some form of the word forgive appears in the Bible 104 times, uh, beginning with the last chapter of Genesis. Well, here are some of the pithy meanings from people that I think you, <clears throat> you've heard of. And uh, I have copies available for the uh, for other list in this list, too. First one is from Desmond Tutu at the uh, opening of the ceremony for the Desmond Tutu Center at General Theological Seminary in New York. <clears throat> and, you know, he went through all of the turmoil in South Africa. Forgiveness is not pretending things are other than they are. Forgiveness is the willing to face up to what would require forgiving, but giving up the right to retaliate. And there was a young black woman at that, <coughs> excuse me, that same ceremony, and she said, her name was uh, Petrina Picot, and she said, there is no future without forgiveness. If black people in South Africa had not been willing to forgive white people, we would not have the level of peace we have now. William F. Miller, who's a best-selling uh, author of business books, and Lloyd and I interviewed him on a radio show we used to have out of Providence, Rhode Island, and he says, forgiveness brings you back to the fresh moment. Uh, the uh, mortal life personal training that Lloyd and I have been involved with for a good number of years, forgiveness is the refusal to hold ill will against other, another or yourself. Because when you're holding on to ill will, the only person whose will is ill is yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, famous anonymous. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is not is about forgiveness is about what happens to you, not the person who offended you. Holding resentment against someone is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. And this is Lloyd Connett at a seminar we did at the School of Theology in Sewanee, Tennessee. Forgiveness is the heart of love. Mahatma Gandhi, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. And then, of course, in Miracles, we speak of forgiveness a good bit. You who want peace can find it only through complete forgiveness. Uh, and, of course, in uh, Matthew, in the New Testament, Jesus, forgive us our debts as we, or in the same way as we, forgive our debtors. So, as I said, there are copies of both of these lists be in the back of the room. Um, and I want you to do yourself a favor today. Take some quiet time, say five minutes, should be plenty, and check to see Check within to see if there's anyone that you haven't forgiven, and forgive them. So you don't have to tell them you've forgiven them, but unless it's appropriate, like your partner or someone very close, or there's someone that you really want to know about that. And it's also extremely important in those five minutes to look inside to see if there's uh, anything for which you haven't forgiven yourself. So why haven't you? Do you think you should suffer guilt because of the way you did something to yourself. So forgive yourself for it. Uh, stop holding on to trash from the past. It only holds you in the past. It keeps you from being the whole person you were created to be. So take a deep breath and forgive you. I bet you'll feel relaxation come over you. As the black woman Petrina Picot of South Africa said, there's no future without forgiveness. And of course there's miracles. You who want peace can find it only through complete forgiveness. Now there are times when, when uh, you forgive a person and then a month, it comes in stages. A month later you realize, oh, I didn't forgive them for that, so now I forgive them for that. And maybe even two months, oh yeah, there's something else. Uh, and from the mortal life seminars, when you're holding ill will, the only person whose will is ill is yours. I almost trip over that as a tongue tire. <laughs> The only person whose will is ill is yours. And the most startling definition 
holding resentment against someone is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. So forgive. It gives you the fullness of life. Claim your power. And so it is. So it is. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have to say, forgiveness, thank you, that was wonderful. And forgiveness can never be understated in its, in its power. And that's what we're all striving and seeking in this, is forgiveness. And great reminders uh, along the way. So thanks, Father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I thought what we could do is... Um, that was a great segue for all of us to sit here and say, what, what, who have we still not forgiven? Or where are you still holding a grievance? Does anyone have anything that's like they're choosing to let go of today? I love your idea of five minutes today. Just really take that look. Marianne Williamson even says uh, every, um, uh, every night before you put your head on the pillow, Ask yourself, who have I not forgiven today? I think that's a great exercise. Is this a forgiving group? Yes, sir, Brian. Yeah, I, uh, I have great confidence that everyone in this room can find ways to forgive themselves and the people in our uh, immediate circles and so on. I find it hard to forgive those who do not forgive, especially, for example, in the, in the Middle East. Everybody that gets killed, that's a revenge thing. They come out, they kill other people. Those people have to have revenge, 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 revenge. Nobody forgives anybody, and I don't know how I can help them forgive everybody, but it's, I'd like to help other folks forgive other folks. How do we do that? Well, I'm, I'm going to let you, I, I want to hear what you all have to say. I have a feeling someone out here may have an answer to that, and then I'll see if I have something to add to that. I don't know that I have an answer, but I was struck one, one time in a small group uh, of, of friends who were talking about this same subject. And he was saying, um, he's a therapist. And he said, you know, when I am working with one person one-to-one, -one, um, it really, I really am, am fed and think it's a mutual thing. But when the whole family comes, he says it's a whole different dynamic. dynamic. And suddenly I feel powerless. I feel kind of lost in the soup of this dynamic. To which another person piped up and said, you know, it's really about us doing our work. Um, if we are working out of, of forgiveness, out of love, out of a sense of peace, and doing our own inward work, it will ripple out. That whatever, uh, I think about it as, as if, I, if I have let go of something I'm holding on that I'm resentful for, it's like a great eraser in the sky and has an effect all the way out to the Arab world or to wherever it is that I feel like I'm holding back. That we only have the power to forgive ourselves and get clean ourselves and that has a huge effect on on the whole world. Exactly. Exactly. So, Great answer. you know, I, 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 I can't do that big sense of forgive. I have to work in here and trust that the God within, the spirit within, will take that wherever it's needed. Very good. Thank the, you. A therapist I've worked with for years says that because I, I have a very personal thing that I've struggled with for years with my ex-husband, and, and which had a, a devastating effect on my life. And Michael always said, remember, you don't have to forgive what he did, you, but you must forgive why he did it. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I really go under the belief that we're all doing the best we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few people. Yes. Yes, my name is Bill, and I'd like to throw a little science into the act of forgiveness. If you believe, as I do, that 
there is a system of reincarnation and karma, whereby you must right your wrongs in a future life. If you don't forgive someone in the present life, you will be drawn back to the earth to do the forgiving <laughs> and meet with this person again to uh, placate the karma that is involved between you. So by not forgiving, you draw yourself back to make right the wrongs, make the wrongs right. Okay, that's very good. Problem. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Who? Yes. Um, several years ago, I was going through a problem with someone. And, uh, Can you stand up? Yes, and speak yeah. up a little bit, please. And several years speak ago, up. I was going through a personal problem with a family member, and I was just heartbroken. And um, I sometimes get songs. And I got a little bit just enough, and it was about forgiveness, and it was like, pain, pain, my heart is in pain, and what do I do? And I kept getting this, forgive, forgive, and I said, but how do I forgive? And it, forgive through the heart. Very beautiful. Through the heart. So through the heart, we can send that out to others. Beautiful. Thank you. So I had a similar experience I, um, of, as Susan's, actually, uh, trying to forgive an ex. And um, we became friends. We went through, you know, became friends after the initial, his breakup of our marriage. But uh, then he didn't want to speak to me at all. And he had promised, one of his last promises had been that we'd always be friends. And I thought we'd achieve that nice balance, but I guess the new woman in his life didn't like that too much. So, so I was just um, saying, I love you. Um, I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. The ho o pono o pono. <laughs> That's a and I kept saying it over and over. And one day he called me on some bogus reason, and we just, it, became okay again. So that was neat. And the other piece I just wanted to say is the place where I see I often have trouble forgiving. I was thinking, I've forgiven everybody, I've forgiven everybody. And when I look at it, it's like um, people in politics that I think are causing great harm and wishing harm to me and others and um, who are taking more than their share of the pie. I have a hard time and I have to keep forgiving and not I can really get easily riled. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Um, I own a business, and um, I've had it now in January 20 years. But my former business par partner departed 10 years ago, and I was full of anger. And I was very, very upset. But during those 10 years, we had so many wonderful times together. And one day it just dawned on me. I need to give a gift to myself, and that gift is forgiveness. And it, is, it was the best thing I could have done for myself because I still have to deal with her professionally, and we get along splendidly now. And because we're back to where we were at the beginning mm -hmm. and not where we were during the departure. Right, exactly. And best thing for me, because all that anger I had, she was going on with her life <laughs> and her journey, yeah. you know. And what was I doing? I wasn't accomplishing anything but being angry. That's what out. Ken said about drinking the yeah. poison and expecting another it, person that to was, suffer. That was so, I laughed to myself because I thought, that is exactly it. <laughs> Spot on, exactly. And if you really, really love yourself and respect yourself, you want to gift yourself as well. And mm -hmm. forgiveness is probably one of the best gifts that we can give to ourselves. Amen. Yes, Perfect. indeed. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to these Well, I just want to thank you for asking that question of everybody because it's really become participatory. Really, it's really become participatory, so thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, anyone else have any uh, comments? Yeah, see, well, this is a biggie. Susan, I'll save it. Uh, yeah. I just want to add one thing. When I was out canvassing for politics, um, I went to this place and they had a dog on the front porch, two dogs inside, and I'm thinking, should I go up there, you know? <laughs> and I start approaching, and the dog look, doesn't look so harmful. He's wagging his tail. But this guy comes out and he says, this dog's mean, he bites. <laughs> and, he said, and I said, well, maybe I can talk to you from here then. And he said, get off my property. 
But my response was funny. I didn't get angry. I felt this poor man is in such fear. Mm -hmm. And I just, I didn't get angry. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Here, Susan, uh, this is great to hear everyone's feedback. I'd just like to comment on what Bill said, and I agree with that about, you know, it can carry over from lifetime to lifetime, but it's been my experience that it's carried over in this lifetime. It, when I've had an issue with someone and I haven't forgiven them, it's like I've carried it around, and then guess what? The universe gives me another person, yeah. same <laughs> issue, yeah. same crap, right. and, you know, I, as, yeah. as I've aged, yes. I've had to go, wait a minute, there's a pattern here, <laughs> you know, and uh, I am the one that's central yeah. to all of this, yeah. uh -huh. so maybe it's me. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> it is. Always an opportunity. Yes. <laughs> and to piggyback on you and on Lloyd and everyone else, um, whenever I see someone outside of me who triggers me inside, it's about me. So yes. it's not about them. Yes. So they're the messenger, and I dismiss the messenger. So I don't shoot them. <laughs> I let them go, and I say, what is it inside me that I haven't fully forgiven? Otherwise, I would never be triggered. Outside. Great. Great insight. Good point. Mm -hmm. Very good. <clears throat> I think that life attracts life, Excuse and me. it's wonderful to be in an environment where people do forgive, and it helps me learn. And uh, I guess hopefully spread that as well. Beautiful. Thank you. And then these two ladies, yes? I would like to relate to last week's sermon when you said we're going to see the outcome of the election and whoever is going to be elected, you have to bless him and love him and send him a message to run this country well enough for all of us to be happy and peaceful. And when the night came where it was the election, I was fighting this thought so much. <laughs> I'm totally a democratic person. If Mitt Romney comes to power, God help us. <laughs> I don't know how to send him love. I don't know. But you know what I did? The best thing. I went to sleep with your thought. And I said, I have to send love to whoever. And in the morning I hear, but I was willing to bless him. <laughs> you know, that, that reminds me of a quote Ellen reminds me of often. She says, when you're willing to do that which you were not willing to do, it won't be asked of you. That's so right. see, you were willing to offer That's that forgiveness. So yes, Claire. I, on election okay. night, I was remembering your talk from last week. Yeah. And I was, yeah. I was being neutral because I yeah. didn't know who was going to come yeah. be the yeah. outcome. Yeah, it was good. Well, I wasn't neutral. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Claire, and then you, Candice. Claire? Well, um, my, my husband died in 1998, and uh, I had such hatred for the doctor that killed him. She had made so many mistakes, and for two years, I mean, I couldn't even think of her name. And... Uh, it's really hard for me. Uh, I finally let it go because she knows not what she did and I was sick over it. And I had to forgive the whole thing and let it go because I was getting sick from it. It's poison. Mm. It's yeah. poison. It really is poison. Mm. And the best thing I've ever done in my whole life is come here. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. You're the best thing that's happened here, too. Thank you. Yes. I love being here. <laughs> we, we love, love having you here. Candace? Well, I was just thinking, we do have so many opportunities every single day to forgive. And rather than bringing the, the hate and the dissension into ourselves, forgive. Don't even think about it. Forgive it. Let it go. But I'll tell Let you, when, when Mitt Romney got up with his concession, <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't anything we have to forgive. I think the, the message of forgiveness got to him. Mm -hmm. And in his concession speech, more than any other yeah. time throughout oh, yeah. the campaign, he was truly a genuine human being, yes. loving, supportive, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's what you should have said. If that had been his message all along, yeah. that might, the outcome yeah. might have been different. We would have yeah. elected him. You were right. Is there yeah. possibility? You're yeah. probably right. But it was yes. really, that was an incredible moment. And I was awake for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was awake until 2 a.m. Anyone else? Pam? I had a similar, uh, Brian shares a similar situation that you talked about. You know, it's the, the Monsantos of the world who are going around ruining farmers and ruining our food. 
And I go through this up and down, up and down of, you know, there's a greater plan and I can only take care of me and then I feel okay and then what can we do about this? I think it's when it's beyond, so beyond our power and I think it, it only is helpful when we just can take care of ourselves because beyond that, we can only do so much except change ourselves first. And that's mm -hmm. what I keep coming back for, so I appreciate, you know, what, what everybody has said. It's yeah, it's nice. been wonderful, yeah. So, oh, me? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, my favorite forgiveness quote is, forgiveness is giving up the hope that the past will ever be any different. <laughs> oh, Amen to that. Indeed. Yeah, very good. It's good. Anyone else? Well, this has been great, Ken. Thank you for inspiring a wonderful conversation You're here. Welcome. It was great, and thank all of you guys. See, you all are ministers, and it's great to hear the feedback because, you know, <coughs> as A Course in Miracles says, we're all students and we're all teachers. And every one of you all were right on. And forgiveness, according to The Course in Miracles, and my experience, it, it is, that's the key to everything. And forgiveness means that um, I'm willing to forgive the past and see beyond my judgment of a certain situation. And one thing I'd like to say about Brian, and you all did address this, his question about the conflict in the Middle East and forgiving those who are continually a battle. Uh, and this was referred to, but all forgiveness is self-forgiveness. So since we're all one in truth, that um, every time I offer forgiveness or clean my perception with the Ho'oponopono or whatever, then I'm enabling everybody to be lifted a little bit from their need to judge and be vengeful. So it's, it's all healing is self-healing. I've really come to that realization over the years. And I, you know, also, uh, as Bill mentioned about the karma and the things that continue to come back, and Susan, you said that so well too. We have to recognize these patterns and, and not look out here and blame the external world because this external world is but a projection of my thoughts about it. So it's just mirroring back to me my unhealed perspective about it. So, yes, Brian. Yeah, I'm just uh, kind of channeling some ideas here. I, I think an essential thing you just said was about the oneness. You know? And I think there's probably some kind of a an affirmation or a group thing that we can say or share or something maybe you can develop at some point, but it goes something like this. Uh, we are the terrorists and we forgive ourselves. Yeah, right. We are the Israelis and we forgive ourselves. We are the yes, we are yes, all one. Yes. You know, we forgive ourselves as ourselves. Right. And exactly. Then we, I agree. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. I am that. I am that. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. We are the weavers. We are the web. We are the weavers and we are the web, just how we started today. So uh, I'll give anyone one last chance or we will... Okay, uh, Shondalia, so you came just in time to turn us off here. And uh, thank you all, everybody, and uh, thank you again. This has been wonderful. Namaste. 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 Namaste.